Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And I just had two, count them, one, two police officers behind me for a couple minutes. And I'm still alive, guys. No bullet holes, no beatings, as you can see, no bruises. Um, I wasn't threatened. Nothing was planted on me. Uh, it was a good experience. They were behind me for a second and then they both turned off and went somewhere else, hopefully to fight crime. So once again, I've done this in the past. There've been a couple times where I've been recording and there have been police officers near me. And again, they didn't shoot me. I'm still, still waiting for it. The mainstream mediocres, these disgusting, terrible, empty suit, piece of shit politicians keep telling me that I have a giant target on my back and police officers are wearing those orange hunting vests like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Nothing yet. I'll keep you posted. I will let you know when the police finally gun me down. Anyway, <laughs> I got to give some shout outs. My man, Dave P. Adam Two great men, two great family men. Congratulations to you, Adam, on that second baby on the way. Also, big shout out to Michael Grigsby. I appreciate the support, man. Good luck to you next week. And I hope this is a trend. I hope this is the start of something beautiful. I hope that this is a sign that California just may, they just might loosen their communist grip on its citizens. Maybe California is starting to present itself as not being a psychotic entity that wants to fuck everybody within its borders. I don't know, we'll see. But last night, uh, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, or if you know them at all, you might call them the Ninth Circus Court of Appeals, the most overturned court in the land. I hope that doesn't continue here. I hope this law or rule or their ruling stays as is. But as of last night, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has overturned California's ban on high capacity magazines. That means as of right now, this moment in time, if you live in California, you can order high capacity magazines, 17 rounds, 30 rounds, 100 rounds, extended magazines, drums, you name it. As of right now, what is it? 645, 0645 on August 15th, you can order that online and have it shipped to your California residence. I went on a website, shout out to Ernesto, he gave me a link. Um, <clears throat> And I clicked on there and I purchased two 17 round magazines. And it got to the part where you go place order. Now under normal circumstances, this is where a screen will pop up and say, unfortunately, we cannot ship this to your address. It didn't say that. It says your order has been confirmed. Here's your order number. So as far as I know, I got two high capacity magazines coming to the house. I'm excited. Being that I'm in California, I've never actually seen a high capacity magazine in real life. It will be fun. Maybe I'll do an unboxing and we'll see how it gets along with the Glock 17. But this is the same Ninth Circus Court that has been against Trump at every turn. They've been against conservatives at every turn. And it doesn't really matter where you fall politically. They've been against the people. Countless cases they've overturned or they've been overturned but countless cases that they've ruled in favor of that were fucking insane most notably with immigration but you know how this goes just like uh, a few months ago where they allowed us thank you oh mighty rulers of california where they allowed us to buy ammunition online they have it shipped to your house that lasted for what a week or two so we've learned when something like this comes down the pipe, you buy, 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 because pretty, pretty soon it's gonna be overturned too and you won't be able to do it anymore. Now, like I said in the beginning, I hope this is the sign of things to come. It was overturned or they overturned it because they deemed it unconstitutional. They basically said you can't 
tell people they can have guns, but then tell them how many bullets they can put in it. Um, and they did this, you know, under the guise of all oh, these mass shootings and all oh my, it don't mean shit. The size of the magazine means nothing. If the person's practices, they can drop and reload 10 round mags just as fast as they could anything else. The capacity of the magazine is not the issue. It's the capacity of the person who is using the gun. That's the issue. You could load a damn General Electric minigun. If you don't know what that is, uh, go watch a clip from Predator. It's the one that Jesse the Body Ventura had. Basically, it's this big-ass gun that can shoot 75 rounds a second. But you can fully load that and put it right in front of me, and I'm not going to pick it up and go to a fucking mall and start killing people because I don't have the capacity to do that. It's not the magazine, it's not how many bullets, it's not the size of the gun, it's the person. You know the saying, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the psychosis in that fucking dog, right? So, as of right now, Californians, get online, clickety-clack, hit those links, hit send, get it sent to your house before they wake up and change their mind. Now, of course, that's total bullshit. I believe if you can pass the background check to get a gun, you should be able to put whatever on or in that gun you want to. You should be able to carry that gun wherever you want to. What's the difference? What's the difference between a concealed carry permit and me purchasing a gun? It's in my possession. I can carry it wherever I want. What's stopping me? That shit is so stupid. We need to take a page out of Arizona, Texas, other states book and allow people to carry their fucking guns. Because people might, let's say they're like, well, if you allow more people to carry guns, then you're going to have more shootings with guns, more mass shootings. Okay, dummy, I'll bite. But you're also going to have more law abiding people with guns to combat them. You're going to have more good guys out there. Force multiplier. Man, I'm sorry. I'm starting to get over their heads. They're too dumb for this. You want to hear something else dumb? So every year, of course, since 9-11, they have a 9-11 Memorial Museum in New York. And they have artifacts in, in there and parts of planes and damaged fire trucks and all this memorabilia. So we don't forget, right? Never forget. So because of... COVID-19, a.k.a. the sweet and sour sniffles, they've canceled the lighting ceremony where they have those two beams of light that have the names of all 2,000 plus people who died that day, who died in those towers. Now, they're because they say there's, uh, what, 40 plus people that are, that put this on, you know, put setting up the lights. There's like 80 some different lights that have to go in there and setting up the whole production and there's a stage and I guess they start a week out. So because of this, they don't want to have that many people in a group because they don't want them to get sick. Never mind the nursing home. Remember that in New York? I forget about them. Forget about all those dead old people. <clears throat> but the, for the safety of the workers, they don't want them getting together to do the fucking 9-11 memorial. So there will be none this year. Now there are other groups, I'll put a link in the description box. There are other groups who are take, or one group in particular, who is taking it upon themselves to do a light show anyway. So let me get this shit straight. You won't let 40 people get together to do a light display to remember the 2,000 plus Americans who were murdered on 9-11 2001 okay but you will let throw out a number 2,000 3,000 5,000 10,000 people get together for some bullshit ass certain black lives matter rally protest riot whatever the fuck you want to call it is that right so mayor de blosio when you're colossally stupid ass was out there finger painting in the fucking streets riding BLM on the sidewalk how many people were around you security other dumbasses painting 
uh, media, how many people were out there? I'm going to go ahead and guess that it was more than 40. But you didn't have a problem with that. And this museum is federally funded. Federally funded is another way of saying funded by me, the taxpayer. I don't want to forget my money's paying for it. Get your fucking ass out there and turn them lights on. What did, uh, was it Randolph? Oh no, it was Mortimer Duke. What did he say at the end of Trading Places? Turn those machines back on. Turn those machines back on. Get your ass out there and turn those machines on. This is a memorial for Americans who were murdered. Those of you who are old enough, you remember 9-11? You remember what it felt like that morning? You remember what it was like in the following days? We don't want to forget that shit. We want to remember the pain that came with it. The anger that came with it. We need to remember that shit. 40 people? You have a problem with 40 people, but 10,000 people can get together and talk about some shit that doesn't exist. That's like saying, I'm going to let 10,000 people to get together and read unicorn stories. Because they don't fucking exist. Same thing with systemic racism and police brutality. Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. You see this? So we can't get together and pay tribute. Because also what they do is they have the family members come and read the names of the fallen. Now, I understand not getting all those people together in a big group. Fine. But you can still do the light display. You can still celebrate that and remember those people's lives. You can still do that. So maybe all 40 workers, all 40 stagehands, as they refer to them, maybe if they put on certain Black Lives Matter t-shirts, then it'll be fine. Problem solved. Get them some BLM signs. And then they can get to work. Then it'll be okay. But if you're out there trying to do something right and do something for the people and do something to remember this horrible thing that happened in your fucking city. That's not okay. We, we can't do that. But a bunch of dumbasses want to get together for some horse shit. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Because you can't call me a racist if I don't let the fucking 9-11 memorial take place. I don't want to be called a racist. Who gives a fuck? Don't you know that you're not one? Well, I mean, Mayor de Blozo, you probably are. But those of you who aren't, who are afraid of that word, don't you know that you aren't one? So who cares? Do the right thing, you piece of shit. <laughs> Can you believe that? They don't want those people getting together because of the sweet and sour sniffles. <laughs> but a, a thousand times that, that's okay. Yeah, stupid shit. New York, if you reelect that dumbass, if you put Mayor de Blosio back in office, you fucking deserve it. I was on the New York Times website. I think that's the one that I, I have the link to. New York Post, New York Times, New York some shit. And I'm scrolling down to the bottom of the page. You know, they got the headlines of these other stories. And it said, 18-year-old stabbed to death and set on fire in the Bronx. New York, Nueva York, you want more of that? Put de Blasio back in office. If you want more of that, you're a bunch of damn fools. So they don't give a shit about 9-11. Crime rates through the roof. Apparently, 18-year-olds are getting their lives fucking snuffed out and set on fire. Sounds good, New York. Let me hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone. Link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.